Yo, what is up guys, SK here, and today we're going to talk about the classes in Bless Unleashed. This is going to be a class overview video. These videos are going to be just detailing what the classes do um, and what their skills are, as well as giving a little short tutorial on how their skills work for the most part of what you're going to be doing for mid game to end game, depending on what class you're playing. And um, just giving you a look into the class before you decide what class you want to play. So here we have the mage. The mage can either be a human or an elf class. They can be male or female. We're going to go ahead with the female mage human, of course. Once you exit the tutorial area, you'll be able to press start and go into your skill list. In the skill list, you'll see a list of blessings. These blessings are gifts from the gods to help you combat the evils of the land. These blessings cannot be changed, however, they can be upgraded by using skill points that you gain from questing through the game. If you go into your gift of valor and select Frost Nova, on your second option, you should be able to spend one skill point to increase the damage of Frost Nova by 5%. Spending one more point after that will allow you to reduce the mana cost of Frost Nova by 100 mana. By unlocking all the power ups for the Gift of Valor, you'll be able to gain the bonus 300 HP, which is on the right hand side. If you look next to the words Gift of Valor, you'll see a 0 out of 7. That means you need 7 skill points to unlock the entire Gift of Valor tree. Pressing R1 will take you over to your combo list, which lets you see whatever combos you can do up into the list that you are. Pressing R1 again will take you to your class skills, which are unique to your class, such as Amplify for Mages. Consume all mana crystals to restore 70% of your max mana and gain 100% critical rate for 6 seconds. Each crystal consumed increases the duration by 0.5% seconds. Your combo attack will now inflict days while this ability is active, temporarily disabling affected enemies' movements and evade. And concentrate. Channel magical energies to recover mana and be used while walking. Both of these active abilities can be improved upon by level 30 by switching out the ability or adding a passive to it that increases its effectiveness. Upon entering the tutorial area, you'll see that R1 and R2 on your top left hand side are your combo stars, circle beating your combo finisher for every single combo. X is to evade to the side, L2 is to dash using your stamina. And R3 is to lock onto an enemy or object in the place that it is. On your bottom right hand side, you have your skills such as your circle, which is your amplify, your L2, which is your mana regain, and then your skills that are tied to your L1. Skills tied to your L1 are as follows your frost spike, which you can use up to three times if you keep pressing the square, your lightning bolt, which goes automatically on cooldown, circle, which is your blink, which travels you forward a short distance, and then your ultimate. Which will be your meteor. Now that you see me demonstrate the skills and the attacks, I'll go ahead and show you them in action. Alright, so we're gonna start off with our regular combo. We're gonna go on the frost bomb. That releases the AoE orb that pushes back enemies, as well as travels across the field. If an enemy is in the area it's in, it will continue to hit them. But um usually it won't. Most enemies decide to move out of the way because they're smarter than this for some reason. You know, just whatever. Alright. We're going to one, two, and we didn't get three. That's back out of the way in three. That was nice. That felt re really gratifying, to be honest. Ah! You said the camera's hard on the mage. Here we go. I'm out of mana, so here we go. We're gonna hold L1, I mean L2. That's gonna revitalize our mana. Or we can do a simple R1 combo. This combo right here will fill up your mana more than likely, like 100% of the time, to be honest. I didn't main a mage, but I did have a level 32 mage on Xbox, and uh, that's pretty much how I know that. Go ahead and use the meteor. 
scream and kill him. Peace. This is pretty much your strongest attack as well, especially when you're in your um your critical hit mode. Yeah. It's hard for me to talk and play mage at the same time, I don't know why. But like it's so much more horrifying playing mage. I'm using it. Oh well. You see all the crits coming through? That's 100% crit rate. As long as um, the buff is active. Look, I wasted it there because I'm going to need it on this boss. But yeah, we'll go ahead and. And to gain one of those resources every time, what are they called? Mana crystals? You have to use a spell. So every spell you use gains you one mana crystal. Unless the spell says otherwise. Why did I do that way? Oh well. Generally what people do is they go ahead and um Well nobody uses this this build anyway because of Meteor. But they'll go ahead and fill up the mana. Do they have enough mana? Which generally they'll just do the regular attack to get it off. this to be honest but um no one uses this build because of meteor doesn't do as much damage as another home build that they have this class has and uh, people are very choosy when it comes to this class so i think this is it i'm not even close enough I'm missing like a lot of these hits and then but I lost out the critical hit already, so it wasn't really worth it. And then I'm going to have to get stuck by this. Ah, I'm not fast enough. There we go. Hard resetting the thing as a mage for some reason. I'm not sure if it's just the character or if it's just me when I press the camera angle. Oh, he's that. I didn't realize that would be enough to kill him. Yeah, that's pretty much it for playing a mage. Um, I'm not a professional mage, so don't take what I did right there as you know, as fact. Just know that the mana strike combo is actually something that a lot of mages just do to fill their mana bar. Um, aside from that, this blessing specifically, not many mages use because there are stronger blessings with stronger skills on it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I'll see you guys later in another video. Peace. Oh, like, subscribe, and share with a friend that might be, like, subscribe, and share with a friend that might be willing to play mage bust on these launches and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.